Hello everybody, my name is Samuel Hubbard and I am here to bring you the goods. This is going to be another video series where I'm going to be discussing some of my favorite hydrogen studies, some powerful ones, some of them that I believe need to be shared with the public. And so uh, it's just going to be me talking to you, uh, similar to our research update videos. And, uh, and so to kick it off, I'm going to start with a study that was published in um, I believe November 2017 at the end of 2017 and it is a very powerful study um, demonstrating hydrogen's neuroprotective, neuroprotective effects uh, for cerebral infarction or stroke. And so um, I want to give you a, a, a couple uh, um, nuggets about the study uh, and what they looked at and then uh, you know we can look at a quote or two and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. So um, to start it off, uh, the administration pathway that they chose with molecular hydrogen was hydrogen inhalation. Um, and as I stated earlier, the disease model is with cerebral infarction or stroke. Uh, this is a randomized controlled clinical study. And so they actually had uh, 50 patients that actually enrolled in this study. 25 of those patients were um, in the hydrogen water group or the hydrogen group. Uh, and uh, 25 were actually in the control group. And so what they end up having these individuals do is that the individuals that were um, that were in the hydrogen group, uh, they had them inhale hydrogen gas, 3% hydrogen gas, uh, for one or for two one-hour sessions uh, every day for seven days. And the individuals in the control group um, actually were administered a uh, approved pharmaceutical drug for stroke or cerebral infarction uh, for 12 hours a day for 14 days. And so um, the results of the study actually showed, uh, this is the powerful part, actually showed that hydrogen was more effective um, at treating these patients uh, than this actual approved pharmaceutical drug. And so um, this study is one of my favorite. It is amazing. Uh, and so here are a couple quick little highlights and nuggets that I like from it. Um, here's a quick quote. Thus, this study indicates that the effects of the inhalation of H2 were more beneficial than those of the administration of Idarevo, uh, and that is the uh, approved drug. Uh, quick side note about that as well. They're actually investigating um, that drug uh, with ALS patients and, and showing some um, significant um, uh, effects with that, with that drug as well. So um, that's pretty cool that hydrogen was able to outperform um, was able to outperform that drug in this study. Uh, another uh, highlight from this study was that they were able to observe um, statistical improvements uh, in the H2 inhalation group within three days of administration of this uh, gas. And that individuals in the control group at this present time were still getting worse due to the trauma of the stroke. Uh, another thing that they were able to observe as well is that within five days, they were actually able to see that hydrogen were um, hydrogen was uh, accelerating the recovery of the infarction size or um, or the bleed. And so uh, these are just one. Um, these are just some powerful quotes from this study. This study uh, uh, goes over a lot. Uh, it'll be linked in the description, but uh, in conclusion, uh, the researchers suggest that, uh, you know, hydrogen inhalation therapy um, has the potential for clinical applications for stroke or cerebral infarction uh, and is safe and in, uh, and is safe in a, no uh, in a novel therapeutic treatment uh, for this uh, disease model. And so um, this is just to start it off. This is a, a wonderful study. I love this study. Um, like I said, it'll be linked in the description and uh, I'll be coming to give you some more. Uh, goods uh, here soon. Deuces.